It's Friday. We're working on the Bugatti, and we told you that we'd make a video every time we're going to do something. We'd let you know. Um, this is a, vi a video on the Bugatti, and what we have is, when I bring it in, uh, when I bring it in, this is the way it was. I haven't cleaned any of the dirt off. I haven't took any dust off. I haven't took any of the rust off. I haven't anything. But what I want to do at the present moment, um, uh, the bodywork doesn't matter to me much right this minute. I want to concentrate on the doors and make the doors swing in and out. Um, what these doors are is a sheet of metal on the inside, a sheet of metal on the outside. I cut a shape out one night, just iron it up on the car, cut a shape out, and, and that's the window shape. And that's how we did that. So that is just a, if you can picture it, just a box welded together, butt welded together with a MIG welder. So as I have that on there, I want to make it stay on there. I want to put hinges on it. Um, the hinges that we had for it before we shut down are these hinges. I think we did the old trusty Speedway thing again. I don't know what, I think they're Model A hinges or whatever they are, but I bought them stainless steel because I wanted the shine or the sheen. So what I'm doing is, as I go to put the hinge in there, as I go to put the door on there, I am going to have to put it in place, or put the hinges on it, put it in place, and then tack the hinges on the inside where I have it. So that means I'm going to try to make the gap all the way the same, all the way around. So I'm going to bring this up to try to make it fit all the way around. As I put the hinges on, <clears throat> on the back side of the door, we're going to be a suicide door. I have to put the hinges on on a flat. If I, if I put one on where it's going around a little bit or for around the circle a little bit, the hinges will not work together unless they're made to fit that way. Haven't got any hinges like that, so I have to make sure that my, my door post is straight. That's where I'm going to hinge it, on a straight. Uh, I learned that on the cider truck. You cannot have hinges on a circle door. You cannot put two hinges on a circle door. It has to be one point. But on a door, it has to be on a flat. So when I did it, I first put, marked it up here, and then I marked it down there. And I said, well, see, seeing where I marked it on this side, I better mark it on the other door. So when I marked it on the other door, I bring the door down over here. I laid it down. And I'm looking at both doors, and I lined the the, the backbones of them up, you know, I try to make it as straight as possible. At first I had my hinge on up here. That would, that would have not worked. That would have not worked. And the reason I can tell you is because I laid the hinge on there and I see where it's flat there. I got one point there and I'm going to go with it. And I got a point down there and that's where my hinges are going to go. That's the flattest place. I don't want to go before that or after that. It starts gapping there and it starts gapping there. So it's a good thing I did put the doors down. So now I know I got them both together. Now what I have to do, the hinge is that wide. You know, as it looks, you know, as it looks like that. When I put it up against the door and try to slide it in, there's not enough gap. So what I have to do is I have to French it. This is what I did. Or this is what I'm going to do. I took a piece like this. A piece like this. I know... I know how wide that piece has to be bent by marking it. Do I not? By marking that marker? I know how wide that has to be bent. I can see that. So I took this over to the, to the brake, or I could take it to my Gene Winfield table and break it over, you know what I mean? I could vice grip it there and I could bend it on that edge if I wanted to, but as I'm trying to do as fast as I can and I have the tool, I'm going to use it. So what I did is Bent that side. Also, when you bend something like this, the line that you have drawn on the metal, the line that you have drawn on the metal is the part of the metal where the bend starts. If you go over top of that, if you hide the, the mark, then you're over on the, on, the, on the hinge side. If I stay out where the mark is, show the mark, then I know my hinge will fit through, if you know what I mean. If I start covering the mark like that, covering the mark like that, and I bend it up, I probably will not fit that hinge in there, because that's where my hinge sits. I have to bend it out where my mark is. I can see my mark. That's where I get to see. That's where I mark it. That's where I can see. My hinge fits inside of it. So as I do that, now I have a... I have a... Where I put that hinge at? Now we have a box that the hinge fits in. That slides in that layer like that. 
So what I have done is I've made this. I've taken, where did I spin that? Put that somewhere. What I did is I cut this corner out, this corner out, and I folded that piece up, and I welded it on the corner. So now I have these little pieces that I've made to French the hinge. So what I've got to do is I've got to take two of these. I'm going to put these. I'm going to cut the door. And I'm going to, I'm going to slide these in so I can French the hinge on the door. Once I have the hinge Frenched on the door, then I can try the door on the car and see if, it, see if I can put it on. I might have to French the other side also. But I'll start with the door and go from there. That's what I'm doing on the Bugatti. So I, had to fr I have to French the hinge and cut it in the door. I can cut it in right now, but I think you get the drift. I'm going to cut it in, set it in there, then set my hinge on, and then put my door up. That takes time. Not, not if you're sure if you're interested in watching that, but that's how I'm going to make it the same. That's how I know it's going to work on the post because it's straight. After that, after I get the doors hinged, this is such a serious video. <laughs> after I get the door hinged, I'm going to use these bear claw latches uh, to put in the door. I don't know if anybody's ever used these before, but these are very, very... Um, I don't know what to say. Very elementary. They kind of fit where the holes go. You know, there's holes right there. Um, I see four holes in this thing, so I think that would go with this. It lines up. It does. Um, it had a bolt on the back side, and it got these in plastic. I screwed them in there. Well, that works. So that's a door post. That clicks in there. So this one goes with that one, and that one goes with that one, I guess. The thing, the problem I have with this is my door, or these doors, not my doors, Jolene's doors are only an inch and three-quarter wide. Also, when I, when I do these doors, I'm going to have to put the lock up here in front, you know, because we're going suicide, so the, door, the lock's going to be back here. As I put, see, I put that lock in there, that lock is almost just as wide as the door is. So, so as I put this back on here, I know that the three, the holes that I've got, are trying to line up, I'm going to have to pull it in further. It lines up there like that. Can't have that because it makes it too wide. I'm going to pull this lock in further. It sits like this. I'm going to pull that in further, drill new holes, and then I'll have it in as far as possible. Cut this off, and that'll be welded on the inside of the door. Piece of piss. Have a good Friday, everybody. I love you, sexy.